School budgets are a hot topic around the state, and in recent years, another big issue is what's happening to the school library. Delaware Education reporter Chris Barish has been looking into that. Hey, Chris. Hi, Shirley. There's an endangered species in Delaware schools these days, the librarian. As budgets get tighter, many principals have decided they can't afford to keep that position staffed. We visited two school libraries to show what we mean. Every morning in the library at McCain High School, students and faculty converge on a coffee bar to order Java and prepare for the day. McCain's coffee counter exemplifies how libraries have evolved in the 21st century. No longer just a quiet space where students read or work on papers, libraries are for online research, collaborative learning, even video production or a jolt of caffeine. I think we are kind of like the center of the school. Um, we students come here individually to uh, work on various things, to do research, uh, to apply for jobs. Teachers bring their classes here again for research, to use the computers, and also we are very popular in the morning. In Delaware though, financial struggles have led more and more schools to mothball their libraries and lay off the highly trained educators who run them. The state's largest district, Christina, no longer has librarians in its six middle and high schools. Newcastle County Votech has four high schools, yet only one has a librarian. But McCain's parent district, Red Clay, has made a commitment to maintain and enhance libraries for its 16,000 students. We are committed to libraries now. You know, with, with budget cuts, everybody has to take their share, but um, it's pretty much like our share isn't any different than anybody else's share. Take really Red cool Clay's Dickinson High. Research, you know, the library is stocked with more than 12,000 volumes, like not only literary classics, biographies, and academic tomes, <laughs> but hundreds for students learning English, devotees of graphic novels, even those in the LGBTQ community. But it's also a computer lab, study hall, makeshift film studio, and coffee counter. Plus, it serves as a sanctuary for kids to sort out emotions by fiddling with a puzzle or find solitude from a pressure-filled day. A lot of kids who have high anxiety um, in school and have a lot of trauma going on at home and this is a great way for them to just come in and decompress. So they come in, they sit down, um, it might be at the end of a class period, it might be during lunch and they just kind of mess around with the puzzle. Yet fewer and fewer of Delaware's 137,000 public school students have access to a qualified librarian. A 2013 report found that roughly half of Delaware's 250 public schools had a librarian and said, quote unquote, services continue to deteriorate. Four years later, there are fewer librarians. The state's leading library official calls the situation dismal. I usually come to the library about every day. Um, I have a really rough time staying in class where it's really loud, so I do my work usually in here. And it's quiet and I feel comfortable. Um, it really helps me concentrate. If without the library, I would be completely lost. I don't know, I really, I don't know where I would be without the library because it's, it's very hard to, um, how do I say, like, focus in on a lot of other things if you don't have that, that way out. The Colonial District is taking a different route at William Penn High School, spending 600000 of taxpayer dollars to renovate the library into what it's calling a cutting-edge innovation center. It will have fewer books, but more online resources, meeting spaces, and the Penn Bistro Cafe. But Conway says red clay libraries have already evolved, organically and by design, with aisles of books remaining a dominant feature. She argues that when schools de-emphasize their libraries, the students suffer. Uh, they're missing a lot. Uh, I mean, research has shown that if you have a certified librarian in the school, test scores are higher. And there's a good reason for that. For educators who value libraries, the current situation is certainly distressing. There was a bill in the General Assembly to put a certified librarian in every school, but it gained no traction. So are schools closing their libraries, or are they more just eliminating the position of the librarian? Well, it's a mixed bag. In Christina, they've sort of mothballed the middle school and high school libraries. They don't staff them at all, but a teacher can take their class in there to do research or just the whole class. In the Votech district, they have a librarian in one of the high schools, but the other three are staffed with paraprofessionals. Mm -hmm. And they don't have the expertise to, you know, help students to f find footnotes, distinguish fake news from real news, find the right source. 
So it's a tough situation. Yeah, it's a shame just because they're so highly skilled. It's a shame that they have to be cut. Okay, thanks so much, Chris. You can follow Chris's Delaware Education Reporting on newsworks.org slash Delaware.